world. Like, no pastor, not even myself. I can't boast and be like, oh, I'm better than Ricky. Like, you know, uh, you know, he outsends me. Like, I'm, you, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm better than, you know what I'm saying? Like, just trying to compare my sins to yours. It's like, because the Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So everybody yeah. is born into this world as sinners. And Christ is the only one that can bring us to the Father. Christ is the only one that can bring yeah. us to God based on what Christ has done on the cross. So, but anyway, you wanted to say something? Um, what was I going to say? Fuck. Uh, I forgot. I totally forgot. Okay, my bad. I had a train of thought. Got it. No, you good. You good. But yeah, bro, like, um, yeah, I don't know. It's like, like, I, I, uh, I, don't, I don't know, like, where I'd go. Like, I don't know. Like, I honestly, honestly, bro, like, if I had to, like, answer it, like, straight up, heaven. Why, why would you, why would you say heaven? Because, like, I do believe in God, you know, and, like, I do, like, I do have a conscience, you know what I mean, when I do sin, and, like, when I do, up, bro? like, I do, I do, like, reach out to God and, like, ask for forgiveness. Right, right. right. Yeah. Yeah, man, um, you know, you know, based, based on you know, your, your confession on, uh, on your answer, you actually wouldn't go to heaven. You would go to hell because, because again, every, every person, every, the Bible says for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So yeah. the other, the things that are outside of Christianity, meaning other religions, right? It teaches you how to do these good works in order to be right with God, to be justified or to be in right standing with God. But only yeah. in Christianity, I use that word for people to have that understanding in society. Mm -hmm. On the basis of Christianity, we believe by the Bible that those that repent and put their faith and trust in Christ, what Christ has done on the cross for you. For those that are in sin to be brought from their sin and brought to newness of life through Jesus Christ because of what he's done on the cross. So it's not on the basis of your good deeds or, you know, you helping the old lady across the street or you raising enough money to go to Africa and feed everybody yeah. in Africa pretty, pretty that, much you that doesn't have wait, any food. Man. You know what I mean? Pretty much. It's not on the basis of your good works that make you right and completely justified before God. It's only through what God has supplied, which was his son, Jesus the Christ, that laid down his life willingly, that took on our sin upon himself, and God put his wrath and crushed his son. And yeah. Jesus was buried and rose again on the third day. He defeated sin. He defeated death. He has the keys uh, taken. Uh, 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 he has taken. Uh, 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 he has the key. My bad. I, I lost connection. You still there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, bro. So if salvation, in order to be right before God, it can you can, it's only through Jesus, bro. It's not it's not through ourselves. I mean, of course, like um we like people can believe that, like you yourself could believe that. Like I used to think I used to believe that for myself, bro. Like I used to think that if 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 I'm this good person, I know I'm gonna go to heaven. You know what I mean? Or my mom's a Christian, so therefore I'm a Christian, you know, um, you got to pass. Yeah. yeah, but but, you know, I understand that, you know, that thinking or logic. But according to the Bible, that's not that's not true. So it, it's about yeah. being in a right standard relationship with God, being completely justified on the basis of what Christ has done. And so um, that's all that I'm saying, man. I hope I'm not confusing you in the matter. But no, no, no. What you're saying is true. Like, yeah. I understand. Yeah. 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 I just, so, so, uh, I, I, I just, I didn't want to say hell, bro. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I know, man. Uh, you know, some people, you know, some people don't like to, uh, you know, hear that, but it's truth. You know what I mean? That's why we're actually out. Here. Yeah. That's why we're actually out here. We're, we're, we're downtown Chi Town and, uh, 
in front of these clubs right now because we believe, I believe so strongly that people that die in their sin, not according to Jordan, but according to the Bible, people that die physically in the state that they're in, in their sin, they will spend eternity in hell. This is the reason why. It's because through Adam's disobedience to God, Adam and Eve ate from the tree. Eve ate the fruit. God told Adam, don't eat from this tree, but you can eat from anywhere. And he did. And then yeah. Adam, diso Adam took the fruit from Eve, and then he ate the fruit. Well, this yeah. brought a condition now through Adam's disobedience. God said, if you eat from the tree, you shall, sh you, you shall surely die meaning that physically you will die and also spiritually. Now, this this became a, a, a huge problem. And because of because of God and his character, because of his grace, he covered Adam and Eve uh, with with them at animal skins, uh, meaning kind of like a, a sacrifice to cover them. Yeah. And he closed off Eden so they couldn't remain in that state for eternity, meaning uh, being dead in their sin. So when we move from the Old Testament to the New Testament, we see Jesus Christ coming on the scene physically, 100% man, 100% God, that Jesus Christ was the second Adam. He was the one that lived a perfect life that you and I couldn't live or can't live. And so yeah. he's yeah. the one that obeyed God, uh, obeyed all the Ten Commandments. Have you heard of the Ten Commandments? I have, but I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the Ten Commandments, there's actually 613 of them. Jesus fulfilled all of them, meaning he never sinned, not once. So what happened was, is he had to take on our iniquity and our sin upon himself. And God had to crush his only begotten son, meaning that Jesus subbed himself in the game. Jesus put himself in the spot where it should have been you and I on the cross. God, yeah. God could have been, God could have been tr truly justified to be like, you know what? I'm not going to forgive anybody. I'm not going to extend grace or mercy. Everybody's just going to be damned in hell, including me and you. Yeah. But because of God and his character that he could never change, he extended his grace. He extended his love. He extended his mercy. And there is an opportunity for people under heaven in the earth to repent now repent repentance is a really great word repentance means making a 180 from your sin and turning to god repentance means having a change of mind and believing yeah. repenting from your sin and and turning from your lifestyle that you're living right now and turning to god that's what god wants see the bible says that god yeah. doesn't want anybody to perish matter of fact hell was created not for humans Hell was created for the devil and his angels, according to the Bible. So mm -hmm. God, God has that equality uh, and God has uh, uh, that justice that comes from the gospel that sinners cannot, w will not have their sins counted against them if they repent from their sin and believe upon what Christ has done for them on their behalf. It's kind of like you being in college debt or something. Let's say I'm just going to throw a random number out there. I'm over exaggerating. Let's say you, you owed a million dollars worth of debt, college debt. Well, somebody comes out of nowhere and pays it. You don't even know the person. They're like, hey, I want to pay for Ricky's debt. I want to I want to help him out. I'm going to put down a million dollars. Boom. 